The following video has been approved by the JD marketing team. It is rated JD for intense use of the word damn and many beaver related puns. This video may not be suitable for all beavers. Good morning and g'day mate. Well, welcome back to Timber Born with me, JD. So, last episode, last episode, we got a lot of progress done, but there's always something else to do. Always something else to do. As we can see in our double damn district, we have uh, fully completed our little water wheel project. Uh, we have the water flowing in from the canal here, being blocked off by these levees and forced around. Unfortunately, this wheel is um, problematic because we let the water run this way a little bit. This wheel doesn't really like working, but you know, I could fix it or I could build more wheels down here. This is why there's a hole in the levee. We haven't decided what we're gonna do there. Uh, but yes, the water is forced this way, runs all the way down here, and we now have uh, almost, almost 1500 beaver power. All depends on which wheels decide to turn and not turn in any given cycle. As the other thing I've noticed is, it actually flows out and flows up this way, and down this way before finally exiting the maps. Occasionally, occasionally. Um, I think that's exiting. Or maybe not. Yeah, the water's a little bit confused. Um, so the only thing I'd like to do now, now that we've, we've mostly finished in the uh, Crater Lake District, is I would like to start one tile closer so the beavers can actually reach it. Uh, I'd like to build just, just a few. Of course that lines up perfectly with our stairs. Why wouldn't it line up with our stairs? Uh, I'd like to build uh, just a little pathway. A little pathway, give the beavers an alternate route. Like so. No real reason. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, if I build one more of those with one more of those and one more water wheel there because we can actually ah oh, it's got paths on top delete delete we might just put in two platforms there just in case i decide to bring the power train uh further out um so yes uh crater lake crater lake is doing well its population was maxed out, but I shipped off all the baby beavers. We've still got two unemployed. It, it's doing pretty good. It's doing pretty good. It has its own internal crop area. Uh, it obviously needs some beavers to go harvest some things. Oh no, it has all the wheat in the world. And yet you guys have no wheat. I know you have all the flour in the world. And you have no flour. We have lazy beavers. Lazy beavers. Do we not have... Oh. So something I've found after playing Timberborn more and more and more is the need to have... Uh, hauling outposts. They actually seem to be very, very important. Um, like our main district has a lot of inefficiencies because we just don't have enough hauling outposts. Which you would assume that as these guys are doing nothing, they go haul their flour and drop it off at the bakery. No, no, not really. Not really. Yeah. Munchy Beaver just sits out the front and does absolutely nothing, Munchy. Yeah, idiot. Okay, so, uh... Crater Lake, pretty much done. Uh, main district, we're going to skip that really quickly. And pop over to Double Dam. Double Dam, same story, pretty much done. Doesn't really have anything else that it needs to do. The only thing I'm doing is putting in some breeding pods. Uh, actually, we're going to delete that one. Yeah, I'm going to delete that one. Uh... <clears throat> We're putting in some breeding pods, uh, and I'm just going to use a majority of this district uh, to bump up our beaver population in total, because this particular district has, well, hang on, let's click on the district center, uh, a ridiculous amount of food, 
with more food that they could be harvesting. Um, and a ridiculous amount of berries. And water's not really an issue. We don't have a lot of water storage. But this area never, ever, ever, ever dries out. I physically have to drop the floodgates down to get this area to, to, to dry out a little bit. So they don't really have an issue with water ever. Oh, actually. Actually. I should put a dam. No, a levee there. And probably a levee there. That way it floods the water in, the water doesn't just roll out. Not that it ever gets that low. Eh, whatever, I've clicked the tiles now. It's good to go. Okay, uh, next one is going to be District 9. District 9 has had a um, a little bit of wheels go in. Just, just a few wheels. And we have expansion plans for more wheels. Just, just more wheels. So uh, we should obviously start with the important things. Uh, yes, uh, we, we, we're just slowly expanding and setting up this district, uh, throwing in more water wheels towards the problem, uh, adding in more paths. The only big change... The only big change in this particular district is I have put in a forester because although we have the many birthing suites, um, we don't seem to have many berries. So we're just going to plant in some extra berries. Uh, plant trees and berries uh, just in like some of this area. Because this area doesn't have a plan as of yet. So I figured, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll just throw in some berries and call it a day. Um... Eventually, if we end up building more water over here or more, more water pumps, then obviously the berries are going to get ripped up. Um, I chose to put the forester here because it's sort of out of the way. And these tiles are going to end up as drive shafts and water wheels and, uh, and, and, and power wheels anyway. Um, speaking of power wheels, this each power wheel uh, and the accompanying drive train to run the power wheel cost me about 43 wood for each one um so we look at this and we go okay that is a ridiculous amount of timber being used to make water wheels so this is a, like a very long-term project it's gonna take them a while to get this done um we also have constant thirsty hungry beaver signs because by the time they wander all the way upstairs to go have a nap and they decide to get thirsty halfway up <laughs> they're gonna walk all the way back down because we don't really store a lot of water. We store a little bit, but not a lot. And the food is nice and close as well. Eventually, after we get rid of uh, the builder's huts, because we've got the construction jobs done, I'll end up moving the warehouses a little bit closer. The water, probably not. It's pretty good where it is. Um, but yeah, you know, the beavers are slowly getting there. And then finally, our main district. Main district, I did do a couple of things. So our warehousing... Beavers sleeping on the floor. Are you homeless? Oh, you're homeless and unemployed. Are you in living in this district? Cool. Yes, you're living in this di district. Excellent. Um, our warehousing... I end up moving... I end up ripping up everything we've done. And moved it over to the left. I wanted a little bit closer um, for a completely different side project. I wanted to... And it's already scheduled up to be built. A power shaft. Of course there's a drought incoming. A power shaft to connect into our barracks and into our warehousing. So we can join this into the drivetrain. The drivetrain is over here. I can make a beeline straight across and plug it into any part of the building, honestly. Um, but I wanted to have it potentially plugged into the drivetrain. And as we can see, if we click on any one of these buildings, they light up light green, which means they're all connected for power. And after I connect that into there, it means this whole complex is also connected for power. The other thing... Oh, and I should mention very, very quickly, all the way over there... We have some scavenger flags, uh, which actually means adding new routes to their uh, scrap metal. Thanks. Uh, 
no, we're good. We're good. Um, and this one, district limits, scrap metal, ten thousand. Yes, and scrap metal high is not carried low, but long it's not carried out from a district. Yes, no, we want to ship. We want to ship out all the scrap, all the scrap metal. Okay, because uh, yeah, we're we're completely out of scrap metal and real metal in the main district. We've 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 spent the lot. Um, we've got one scrap metal, but I think it's two scrap metal to one metal block. Yeah, yeah. So, lucky us, we have one piece of scrap we can never get rid of. Okay, um, yeah, main district. Main district, uh, has some homeless beavers, which is sort of okay. We, are. Uh, I have allowed the beavers to look in this house. Because why not? I use this house, but it turns out when you unpause it, it then complains about being flooded. I don't know, I don't know why the beavers want to live above water, you know? Sheesh. Um, so we're going to use this house. On top of that, I used another house here to move the drivetrain uh, back down to ground level, which I've unpaused. Holy crap, we've got 90-year-old beavers. Damn. Um, so, and I, I built one beside it because we had two, squire, two tiles free, and I'm probably going to end up wandering around in any spot where we can fit some beavers. We're going to fit some beavers uh, because... Uh, 26 unemployed or something 25 unemployed i don't know maybe we'll find a different job for them um but i want to move on to our next project now our next project is going to be the mega project and or mega projects we have a lot of beaver power in our drive trains a lot of beaver power um a ridiculous amount of beaver power and i want to put all that power to work by making planks explosives paper books and all that sort of fun things almost for the sake of making them like by the time we can afford to do this mega project we won't need the resources to do mega projects if that makes sense so we're making this for the fun of it and i think it's going to be our last big project big project for uh this particular series i'm also noticing that uh my ups and my frames are definitely dropping the game is definitely starting to struggle i've built a bit too much uh, we do have shy of, just shy of a thousand beavers by the time we're done. Well, actually, by the time District 9. Yeah, by the time District 9 f fills out fully, we're, we're going to be well over a thousand beavers. Uh, so, that's before I had potentially three more districts. So, what I have done is I've done some planning. And if we drop down the level here so we can see, I knocked out some tiles because I wanted to bring the water in. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to need to, you know, wetten up, moisten up this area. So what I need to do is I need to bring in a canal. And I'm like, hang on, if I'm going to bring in a canal, if I make it two tiles wide, I can put drive trains in there as well. Uh, water wheels, water wheels, and get some more beaver power. And then I'm like, hang on, if I make it two tiles wide, I could make it four tiles wide and get in twice as much power. Plus I need an extra tile to actually run the power out. And then we end up with this five tile wide uh, monstrosity. Yes. Yes. And I considered extending it more to get three wide. I'm like, no, let's just be greedy, JD. Very, very greedy. So it does mean that like literally everything along here needs to be blown up. Um, right the way across the map. Starting with, obviously, uh, this level right here. Cool. And now that level's done, we can remove uh, that one bit of stairs and set up the next level to go away. Uh, and then we need the next level to go away, and then I need to basically build a new district before I can get the next level to go away and so on and so forth. Uh, on top of that, I do need to drop the level of this down. Yeah, I need to drop the level of this down uh, so we can get a drivetrain up and over and in somehow. Um, we're going to have to come from these buildings over into the drive shaft for the water wheels, which is 
potentially there's going to be some sort of nightmare to get the drivetrain moved around. Um, but yeah, I need to wait for the babies to get... Oh, oh, oh. That done and this done. Ah, uh, they're too short. Of course they're too short. Of course they're too short. Uh, so our plan is to come out here and build a couple of districts. A couple of districts. But it's going to take some time. I'll warn you that much. So, we're going to do... A little bit of a montage, an explosive montage, I think. Okay, after a lot of explosives later, we have our foundations, our, our, our new setup for our new temporary district. Um, as we can see, we, we've got water over here. We're going to put in some water wheels because I said why not. In saying that, uh, we are currently running on purely on beaver power. Mm, there's a couple of water wheels turning on and, uh, on and off uh, every now and then. But uh, our District 9, if we just click on this, is, well, uh, 
35 unemployed beavers. So we're actually limited by our construction speed currently. And the breeding pods are doing a wonderful job of upping the population. Uh, we are having a small food issue. We've sort of maxed out uh, as many beavers as we can feed on carrots. So I'm working over here on changing this over to wheat, at which point we'll slowly migrate everything over to wheat. Because it's not as if we don't have a whole bunch of uh, raw beaver power to run grist mills, along with potentially uh, some timber coming in to also burn to, you know, bake some bread. So we're going to slowly convert this one over to uh, wheat. I'm also thinking that maybe we can move the district center flaggy thingy um, over here, get some more territory. Actually, let's just try this out real quick. Uh, remove that, remove that, remove that. Districts must be separated. Oh, there's another connection there. Yes, we can. Okay, so we're going to put in a couple of extra farmhouses. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're going to have to convert things over to wheat. Because it turns out trying to feed... Uh, how many hungry beavers? Uh, 300. 300 on just carrots is proving to be challenging. We need a more dense food per tile. Um, what well, food? And wheat is twice as dense. So, yeah, we're, we're going to be swapping over to wheat. As for our new district, um, this is actually going to be a multi-district project. Which actually means... We're going to be looking at the next episode. We have the infrastructure put in. Uh, we have a whole bunch of water wheels that need to go here and here and here and here. and uh, 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 Okay. Here and here and here and here and here and here. Uh, now, of course, none of these are going to run yet. They're not going to run for quite some time until we actually get the uh, the rest of the infrastructure in. Yeah, I'm, it's going to be more temporary districts because there's been a whole lot of temporary di districts uh, this episode to get all the explosives done. But yeah, we're going to have to put in... Can we... I oh know we can access the water. Uh, bring that along to there. Drag that up as far as we can. I, I can build to about here before I'm outside this district. I need to set up a new temporary district. But yeah, uh, we, we can build a certain amount of this. Uh, actually, we can also run a path along here. Yeah, I'm going to lose this path eventually when I bring the drivetrain out. Um, which would be that tile there. Yes. Yes. And uh, yes. Because I'd really like to be able to put power into the roofs of these things, but the game doesn't let us. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to set up more water wheels because why not have more beaver power? And then we're technically going to be building three districts in this area um we have the water coming in here the water's going to then make a sharp one two three four i only want this three wide uh three wide there uh sure uh we're gonna br have to bring the water over here and then I'm going to have to bring the water back out to lake somewhere so we have some drainage. Which is probably going to require some future explosions. But, like I said, this is where I'm going to leave it this episode. We have not quite infinite building material, um, but close. Hence, we're going to do, you know, one big meme project to, to, to 
sign off to, to Timber Born before before we end this series. In saying that, please, down in the comment section below, tell me, would you like to see me do this again on a hard? Um, obviously a different map. I, I have seen some very, very interesting custom maps that have been made by by lovely people out there who have probably spent more hours in Timber Born than I possibly could dream of. Uh, but there have been some very, very interesting custom maps out there. Um, but yeah, would you guys like to see a hard series when this series complete uh, concludes? Anyway, with all that said, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And can you please, 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 um, say hi to a beaver for me? Any beaver. Just, yeah, any beaver. Anyway, that's it. We're out. Thanks for watching. Bye.